G'day, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna build the Timia Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. Should be pretty cool. As you can see, it comes in the standard box, but they've got the, the sticker up there on the front. Black Edition, and it comes with the ESC and CVA dampers. Fantastic. Anyway, it comes with the uh, TBLE04S speed controller. Bonus. And it still comes with a 380 motor, so yeah. We'll use that for a paperweight. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll get into it. Alrighty, so we've got him open, got all the parts out there, put all the bags into tubs, and I fitted the tyres already. Now the body I'm not even going to paint, that looks pretty good to me. And with the motor I'm going to use, it'll probably end up on this roof anyway. So I've got the bearings and stuff in the gearbox, put the gears in, and I used Andy Wear grease just in the diff. To make it a bit stiffer but i'll tell you about that later show you what i mean and there's our super stock rz motor i'm going to run don't they look pretty very nice looking motor and of course i need an 18 tooth pinion gear to go with that so i've gone and got the gearbox all together put the motor in should be a lot of fun with that and the 2s lipo <laughs> now i've got the Fataba 2 hr stick radio there and we're ready to set up the radio so I've got the uh, Power HD 3001HB servo, got our TBLE 04S speed controller, and a Fataba R202GF receiver. So I'm using this little LiPo pack just to power it up, and naturally I've changed to a Dean's plug on the ESC. <laughs> so I've got it all bound up, and we'll see if it works. So we've got forward and brake, and reverse. Magnificent. And of course I sent it the servo then. Now I've gone and got the servo all fitted in. And straight onto the electrics. Got all the electrics put in there. Looking pretty uh, tidy I think. On the switch, I just used the bezel that comes with the switch instead of just using screws and washers. I think it looks a lot neater. Then it was time to get onto the shocks. So we've got the shocks all built. Fitting them up. Very simple. They're CVA shocks but you don't have to worry about uh, Eclipse and pistons, the uh, pistons part of the shaft, too easy. So I fitted the wheels and tyres at the same time, and there it is. Chassis all complete, looking pretty good I think, nice and neat. So time to get onto the driver. So I only did a quick job on this, you know, went over him with some flat white, and then did the belts with uh, flat black. Then I mixed a bit of thinners and black together just to make a wash for the uh, creases in the suit. Then I painted his helmet. And uh, I ended up touching it up a little bit around the edges later, but that was it. And cut out the decals. Just using a knife, going around the edges as close as possible. Then I applied the decals and the Grasshopper 2 Black Edition was done. So that's our beast. Looks pretty cool. The shocks are quite stiff though. I think I'll have to get uh, very light oil for them. They're just very hard. <laughs> Front and back. So uh, yeah, I'll get a lot softer oil and should be fine. Motor looks pretty cool sitting in there. Very nice. And body looks good. As I say, I didn't bother painting it because it's it's quite shiny how it is. And if you have a close look on the box, hope you can see that. Um, maybe on that angle, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, on the box, it's that one's clearly not painted. <laughs> I reckon they just put the body on and that was it. Also, if you notice on the box, it hasn't got CVAs on the front. <laughs> anyway, now I'll show you the difference with the uh, the Andy Wear grease in the diff. I'll compare it to my uh, old Grasshopper 2 Super G. So we got the old Super G, same as a Hornet and uh, Grasshopper. They all spin the same. Very free rolling. And with the uh, Andy Wear grease in there. Yeah, it's much better. So uh, yeah, more powerful motors. It should uh, should have a bit more traction. You know, when they start to start to lean this way or that, and one wheel just goes nuts. <laughs> it should help stop that a little bit. So that's it. All finished. Looking pretty good, I think. I like the uh, I like the gold fleck in it. The, the uh, camera probably can't pick that up but it's uh 
you know, kind of sparkly in the gold area. Looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll get this out for a run soon. And uh, yeah, it should go pretty nicely with the uh, Super Stock RZ in there. Yep, she's got a bit of torque. <laughs> bit of cogging going on. Alrighty, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumb up. If you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Plenty more videos to come. Anyway, catch you later.